husband standing over the stove, vacuuming, the living room, cleaning off the counters. Uh, no, that's not happening, right? Well, apparently if you're a millennial, the answer is probably no, but I think, Anita, you and I would agree that's not happening anyway. Gallup finding that even when men say they do an equal amount around the house, it's usually in more traditionally male areas, such as maintaining the yard or keeping the car running and, you know, shoveling snow, which is a lot of hard work, right? So we got to put that out there. But we want to bring in comedian and Chicago native Ben Noble to talk more about this now. Ben, welcome hey ben. to Good Day Chicago. Hey, thank you. Thanks I was giving a hard time because he's not dressed like a comedian. No, no, no. I, I am dressed for the occasion. That's what like, I, that's you wanted to dress up for the ladies? You, yes, of course. <laughs> well, thank of course, you so of much. Course. You look great. It's so fun to have you here. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, so why do you think a lot of guys just get hung up on not doing housework? Like, are you someone who likes to clean and tidy up? Uh, no. 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 I, I think, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I think it's because we don't really know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, yeah. Folding clothes, that's not for me. It's not uh, you. I think it's a, a, a talent to fold fitted, fitted sheets. It, it is. is. I, it making is. a bed so is hard. That, that right? is tough. That's, yeah. They just teach that in class. Like geometry, trigonometry, folding fitted clothes. <laughs> like, that, is, that is so true. But using a fitted sheet on a bed is not the easiest thing It in is the, the world. hardest thing to do in the world. And especially if you I, have it turned the wrong way, yeah. right? Forget I, it. I think you have, you're on to something there, though. That, but I think... Us as women, sometimes we have such a particular way too that we like things done wow, or want so it yes. done, yes. and yes. so they feel yeah. like, well, if we do it, you're just gonna say we're doing it wrong, so I'm just not gonna do it anymore. Right. You know, That's it comes true. to that, like you just take care yeah. of the way so I do it. Yeah. If I fold it up, it's gonna be like a sandwich. Going two folds, and that's it. And. <laughs> It's well, folded. Speaking of sandwich, let me ask you this. What's so hard about making a sandwich and then wiping the counter down afterwards, Ben? How, <laughs> what's, hard, what's so hard about that? <laughs> you can do that. I can do that. But see, it's different because when you're when you're making a sandwich, right? Uh huh. I love how, like, anybody used to mess with make a sandwich, cut it diagonally. Uh-huh. It has to be square. diagonal. It had to be diagonal. Okay. And that's perfect. And wiping it down afterwards. That's someone else's job? That's not someone else's job, <laughs> but you guys do it so much better. <laughs> Well, I love, but first of all, I will say this. I have come home many, many times to my husband cooking. Uh -huh. I actually have some pictures because I always brag about his yes, food, you, right? Yeah, he's so this is my husband. And you, if we drop so the lower cute. third there, um, you, this is him making uh, homemade paella. Yeah. And uh, this guy can cook. Now, oh I had gosh. some girlfriends over. He did this spread oh. for me. He, Wait, did you lay it out or he no, laid it out? No, he did it all. Okay, that's wow. He decorated it. He laid it out. And this what? is a typical breakfast in my house with my husband. And this has got potatoes on the bottom and eggs. Nice. And it's got cilantro and yeah, oh all gosh. good stuff. He's an amazing cook. So yes, I have come home to him uh -huh. cooking, but I dread what he leaves me in you the kitchen. The <laughs> so you have to do the dishes. So but once he's done cooking off. this amazing, amazing meal, do you get stuck with the? Because I hate. I get stuck with the dishes. Oh, but the no, dishes, I hate it. I hate, it. I hate, I hate that. that. I love the dishes the, are tough too. I do love the meal. The dishes are tough. They are right? tough. See, but mm -hmm. for for so when you take out the dishes, you do dishes. We'll take out the garbage, and I think that's the perfect. Trade yeah, but what about yeah. when I cook a meal, I still have to do the dishes. <laughs> or as, <laughs> something's wrong as there. Rodney Dangerfield used to say, you want me to take out the trash? You cooked it, you take it out. <laughs> yeah, I always it. thought that was so funny. You cooked it, you take it out. Okay, right? we want to talk about what you are doing, Mr. Comedian, now. You've yes. got your comedy show and some of the good stuff coming up, right? Yes. But yes. first, we're going to listen to a clip so everybody can hear you. Let's listen in. So I am like really legally blind, right? Visually impaired. Uh, when people hear the word blind, legally blind, they automatically think no vision at all. And it's not the case for me, I have some vision. Like I'm blind enough where I can't drive anymore, but I got enough vision where I don't have to play the harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> If you have this funny kit of comedy skit, and you talk about the fact that you are legally blind, yeah. which might be an impediment to some people, but not to you. You're making the best of it. Tell yes. us about that. Well, you know, doing doing comedy, going through you know visual loss, it's more of a uh, therapeutic thing. You know, uh, it's cathartic, huh? Yeah, yeah, very. I mean, comedy was always a passion of mine, but also being able to talk about what I'm going through on stage, it was both healthfully, mentally, mm -hmm. and physically. So I'm getting both ends. I'm doing something that's helpful to myself and making the world laugh. So it's yeah. like you're yeah. making blind jokes, right? Yes. Of course. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And you know, it, it's funny. Only you can do that. Exactly. We can. <laughs> I was just going to say, this is during a time when everybody is so self-conscious and worried about saying something wrong, but yeah. you can do that. 
And you turn your comedy, not only you make fun of yourself and have fun with it, but you also are philanthropic about it. And you're involved with the Chicago Lighthouse, yes. which is an amazing organization. Tell yeah. us your involvement with them. Well, the Chicago Lighthouse is a very, uh, very important organization. Uh, they've been helping me for about the past year or so with just employment, getting back into the workforce, um, and also um, just getting back and to the swing of things, because mm -hmm. when people lose a disability or just something that they take for granted, you need help to get right. back there. And Chicago Lighthouse helps uh, everyone that's, that walks through the door. It is a fantastic yeah. organization. It's yes, been yes. in the city for a long, long time. And yes. if you're ever looking for a great philanthropic cause, it is definitely one of them. But we want to know, where can people see you, local guy, Chicago guy? Where are you going to be performing? Well, I'm going to be performing Thursday. I'm actually Thursday going to be performing at Gibson Steakhouse. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. For the, <laughs> that sounds for like the a Chicago perfect night. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's actually for the Chicago Lighthouse. They have a, a casino night fundraiser, the oh. biggest event of the night uh, of the uh -huh. year, really. So, you know, if you want to go, go to ChicagoLighthouse.org, mm -hmm. purchase your tickets, and um, lose your money for a great cause. Yeah. <laughs> and you're also going to be at the House of Blues February 25th, so that's pretty awesome. And last Thursday of every month, we see you at comedy. Uh, was that yes. comedy? It's a comedy show that, that I host and produce uh -huh. uh, in Wicker Park. Uh, it's a place called North Bar. Oh, comedy North. Yeah, okay. I host.